Hi, and welcome to this installment of Dubro 101. Today I've been working on a old school model design that required me to use some hardware that I thought I'd share this little tip of advice with you. When setting up aileron sometimes in older models, they ask you to, or the designer instructs you to install a single servo and use bell cranks for the ailerons. Uh, this is also true on this particular model with flaps. And along with that comes a little bit of complication that I thought that I would show you that Dubro has the perfect solution for. So when you're installing your bell cranks in your model, you have one on each side that mirrors each other. And that's uh, for the purpose of making sure that they go in opposite directions. But the way that they connect at the center portion at the servo, that's the complicated part. A lot of people will tend to use a, uh, a single clevis point and just use two rods uh, rather than trying to use a single rod if they don't have one. The problem with that is when you tighten it down, you can have the metal fatigue over time and it can slip. Well, that's inside your model and I'd hate for anybody to have to dig into their model, ruin the finish and just to, just to service this one little piece. So with that, that's where the aileron connectors come in place. It's a single nylon piece on a ball clevis, so there's very little slop, if any slop at all. And there's two threaded ends that get screwed into the nylon piece, and it's adjustable, so you set up the model before you cover it, and you're done. So with all my jibber jabber of the overview of the model, I'm going to take you off the tripod and get you up close and personal to show you exactly what I mean in the model, because it's easier to see up close rather than from afar. All right, so what I mean by the different uh, clevis types or hold down types is when you use one of these connectors and you try to stuff two pieces of metal inside and you try to tighten it down and eventually the brass is going to round out or the uh, the threads will push up and this will warp and distort over time i've seen this fail so many times this is junk this is garbage so in the instruction manual it shows you clearly how to assemble it it's pretty straightforward it's just a few pieces in the package You've got the nylon piece itself, a ball link, and a nut where the ball link and the nut screw together onto the servo horn. And then the nylon piece just pops right onto the ball link. And then you're left with the two end connectors. And you can use steel rods or uh, something of the like to solder into each one of these cups. And then each one of the brass fittings just screws right in. And then you can adjust your endpoints to meet the bell crank position that you need. All right, that's all there is to do with the assembly. Yeah, it's a little bit more uh, of a of a buildup compared to this single rod solution on my on my flaps, but I had a piece long enough that could do one single piece. Now, I am risking it a little bit here, but it's a lot more secure than drilling out. A connector don't drill out your connectors they're not engineered to do that so this is not drilled out so it's not going to round out it's not going to oval and the uh, the set screw is not going to back itself out once it's secure so with that uh, let me hook up my servo connector and I'll show you how it works all right so with my servo tester connected to uh, the servo it's just put on a cycle going back and forth to test my endpoints. So I can see that there's no binding here of anything. And I can also check the endpoints of the different positions on my belt crank. And I've already done this. I've gone through and I've measured the exact positions from endpoint to endpoint, and they are exactly the same. If you don't get that right, you can have one aileron that will deflect differently than the other. And that's not exactly an ideal situation. So make sure you take the time and properly trim at the screw points. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Dubro 101. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and got something out of it and have something that you can share with a friend. 
Make sure that you check out duro.com for all of your hobby needs in the future. And until next time, take care.